Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today I want to show you another method of tying the Hemingway Mayfly soft body. I'm going to use the Hemingway's Mayfly nymph body. And this is the abdomen and the tails. And this, is, this is the rubber body. And this is a clear brown. And we're going to use the Mayfly Nymph rubber legs and wing buds, and these are the clear brown also. And we're going to accent them with the Mayfly wing bud and back the stickers. You can see here the sticker. You got a nice uh, segmentation, nice uh, wing pad marks. The hook I have in the vise is the 2312, this is a size 12, and this is a straight eye semi-dropped nymph dry hook from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to start out, I'm going to use 25 thousandths lead wire. I'm only going to do the abdomen or the thorax and I got about 10 I'm gonna put on 12 and break that off the amount of weight you put on depends on again the depth of the water how strong the current is. If you're fishing a small stream, you don't even need any. I'm going to use 70 denier. This is a brown thread. 8 aught. We're going to start that thread behind the eye. Going to hold the lead wraps. And we're going to move that. Cover the, the lead wraps. There we go. We're going to secure them. And you want to cover these lead wraps over pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise to flatten it out. We especially want the rear section that's going to end up in the abdomen. First thing we're going to put on is the wing bud and back and you can see this has a clear tab and we're going to leave a little bit of that clear tab over the eye of the hook there and we're going to tie that in Now we're going to take the rubber wing button back. We're going to line that up on the sticker. There we go. And you can put a couple of wraps in there and then just stick them together just like so and then we're going to wrap down the rest of it I'm going to do a light fold over and that where the thread is hanging is where I want to tie in the body the abdomen I'm going to tie in the abdomen so it's pointing forward you can see there's a tab on there what I'm going to do is tie it in and then fold it over. So I'm going to pull it, going to tie that in, pointing forward, and tie that tab in. And 
And you want to make sure you keep that on top because you don't want to uh, you don't want to have that roll around. I'm going to take a fine copper wire for the rib. And I want to tie this in on top. The tag end you want mostly on top. Because we're only going to have a thread underbody. We're going to wrap, wrap that in pretty well. And check that underbody. Okay, that looks good. Then you can pull your wire to the side. Going to fold that wire, the uh, body over. Hold it by the tail. We're going to tie that right in the tail. Now I'm going to take the abdomen section or the back. And this also has the clear tab, so you can see where you're putting it. We're not going to leave any of the clear tab hanging over on this one. Just make sure that you keep it on top. And then I'm going to palmer that thread forward. Now I can take the body and fold that up and use that glue that's on there to help you hold it down. I'm going to take the wire. For this one here, I gotta put one wrap underneath the tails first. Then I'm going to palmer this wire forward. I have to turn it my way there a little bit. And then I'm going to tie the rib off right in front of that abdomen. And here we have our abdomen completed. Now I'm going to take some head cement. You want to put head cement in there or uh, some of your UV cure. We don't want a lot. We mostly want to protect the thread body. So I'm going to use my Deer Creek Diamond Fine. Let me get a drop out of there. Get a little bit on the back too. Take my Bodkin needle and Spread that around. I let that level off and hit it with the light. I'm going to take a piece of yarn. This is poly yarn, and I'm going to pull that apart. I don't. I don't want a lot. This is only going to be underbody. We need something to help fill that gap there. We'll tie that in. We're going to go ahead and wrap that. I'm going to take a light brown dubbing. And I'm going to put a little bit more on there to bring it back.
make sure we get that entire thorax there. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to put a wrap between the second and third legs. And I'm going to advance my thread between the first and second legs two wraps on there and then bring that forward and we'll wrap the head take our whip finish Trim that off. I'm going to take my dubbing teaser and just tease that bottom a very little bit so we don't see the thread. I'm going to use my Deer Creek Diamond Fine once again. Just a little bit on there. There we go. Take my dubbing needle and I'm going to spread that out. I'm going to hit that with my light. And here we have another way to use the Hemingway products. We have the rubber abdomen and tails and the rubber legs and wing bud topped with the wing bud and back. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.